Hello everyone. I am going to show you how to update the activities in Primavera through export and import option instead of uh, updating the activities manually one by one. I have prepared one Excel sheet which is actually uh, I have copied the data from the Primavera as it is and copied in the Excel and I have added some columns for example here so that is the activity percent complete and we need to update these percentages so I have inserted another column current activity percent complete then remaining duration actual start and actual finish I just rename the column start and finish which are these columns and make it blank afterwards I have updated the activities such as activity A it was 0% as previous uh, week now current percentage is 100% so this activity is finished it means that we need actual start date and actual finish date activity B is progress 10% it means it is in progress and there should be actual start date similarly I have for the two activities with the different percentage and with the actual start date if you see here when you copy the the activities with the Bluebeard from program normally it has a gap in the activity so we are going to AB lookup the, the, the percentages from this file to the exported file so that is why we have added another uh, col uh, column and apply a simple formula which is trim so if you see here it it, it just uh, finished all the, the gap before the activity started. It will help us to look up the, the values from here correctly. Now we are going to Primavera and we are going to export the Excel file. So we we'll click export, we we'll click a spreadsheet next, we we'll click activities. We are not going, going to talk about activity relationship, we will do it in the next sessions but at the moment we will only stick with activity so check activities click next check export it is showing your uh, project name which is there click next here we have got some template you can add it but because I have already created so I am going to show you which fields we are required to import the, the update correctly so here we have got activity ID, activity status, WBS code. These three fields are very important and it is by default. You cannot, if you try to remove this, you cannot, it wouldn't work. Activity name, it's optional. You can keep it or you don't keep it, but we need to keep it as a reference. Then start and finish, which is under the, the dates. So here we have got dates section and we have got a start here. This is start and finish I am keeping here and I will, I, will, I will tell you the reason why I am keeping here but it's useless for us. Then we need actual start date and actual finish. Actual start under the same date similarly actual finish. Then the most important we need the activity person complete which you can find under percent completes so we have taken active percent complete we also have taken performance percent complete just for the, the lesson that I am going to, to tell you and click OK click next here you need to select the, the folder where you are going to to update the, fi the file so we'll select with the activity name uh, with the file name import activities next finish see it is uh, popping up uh, 
a box it is showing that my file is open so i need to close the file i need to close the file to save it and start the import so i will do it again next this is the same okay next i need to select the folder where i'm going to co copy the file select it actually i'm going to replace this file next finish okay so it is successfully exported let let us open the, the exported file here we go we'll apply a filter extend by selecting and double click on the column side now i'm going to tell you the fields we have uh, got in the exported file activity id activity status very important uh, wbs code very very important because if you miss uh, and if you if you change this in relation to activity id it will change the the, the program and the the placement of the id under the the original wbs then we have got activity name if you change anything here it will change in the program we start and finish that is what i am going to tell you look many people they they export and import the the, the dates you by using these columns and they don't get succeeded why because here the steric under two brackets it is giving you the indication that this fields are dynamic and whenever you import the field which is showing this symbol it it would it wouldn't work while you import so whatever it is it's useless i was just uh, i just wanted to to tell you and that's why i have taken these two fields then actual started actual finished there this you need to update activity percent complete we need to update the same thing if you see the the, the symbol as i told you steric within the brackets so it means that these also the, these fields also doesn't work while you import back so the activity percent complete is the most important thing that we are going to update the each activity as a percentage now here we have got a uh, sample project so we have got only six activity but normally you might be updating hundreds or thousands activity in one go so we need to look up here so a simple formula in excel most of the people you are aware of it uh, look up select look up value comma go to the the, sh the sheet where we have got the data select the array so you need to select the activity id to the the column you need to get the information from so i need first the activity percent complete so i select so it is the next thing is showing the column number which is column index number which is 6 and then 0 now if you make it a format as percentage from here it is 100% but if you look at here these are a number uh, these are the text but actually what what we need here we need the numbers for example here we need to multiply by 100 to make it number and then we will make it make the format format cells you can make it general or number but without separator and without decimal or you may use decimal two decimals okay so it is showing now 100 which is actually 100% and then you just drag down the formula then you need to apply again we look up select the look up value but here you need to freeze the freeze the rows then 
then select the actual date column 8 if you see here it is showing row 8 into column 8 then comma 8 comma 0 and then make it format as a date and then simply drag this to the right side double click to check the, the formula because we have freezed this so here uh, we have freeze actually column not rows so we have freeze the column so the column the, 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 the value will remain same but here we will change this h to i in column number will increase by 9 which is 6 may so we have actually we have extended one column to get the lookup from this value and the both will just simply drag down or you can copy and paste below now if you see these two value the, these two activities is uh, not started which is there so we don't need to import these two activities simply we will just remove these activities we will reflect these percentages here as a values we will reflect these actual dates under the actual column by values and make it change the format by dates and then simply because these three values are in progress and that's why there is no actual finish date so we'll just simply remove this now we'll select 100% which means it is completed activity and we need to change the activity status so we will simply say completed we will remove 100% and select the other in progress activity and we will make it in progress We will remove the, the formulas here which we applied to to get the values. We'll simply just check a final check. We will save it, close it, go to the Primavera again, file, import, select the spreadsheet. We will select the file which we are going to import. So simply a column sample, and that is the file import activities. So it's better to just cross check before you import any file that the modified date is 13th May 20 and 225. Okay, so okay, just to make sure that this is the file next activity select next so it is uh, showing the file name which we just selected then it is showing the import action which update existing project project yes we are going to update the existing activities in the project import to you will click it will pop up and it is showing that you have only one project open up which is our project you need to select by double clicking or you may select by clicking here select option click next and click finish close so it is successfully updated 
will see the file that, that is the file we have a activity 100% from 1st May to 6th, 6th May a activity activity percent complete 100% from 1st May to 6th May if we see other activity b activity 10% started at 3rd May activity b 10% started at 3rd May then we have got two further activities 8% 5% and these two not started so if you see here these two activities are showing not started there is no actual date showing here these all are actual which is showing with A and it is successfully imported in the program so guys this is the, the most easiest way and uh, time saving uh, way to update the, the activities by using export and import and we have not updated the, the remaining duration but the, in a similar way you can update the further th fields but it was just an idea that how you can apply uh, a lookup from the, 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 the another file which you prepared and updated put it into the the active the, 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 the exported file and just simply import thank you for watching We'll come back with the other sessions in the in the week time. Take care. Bye bye.